an update this evening on that Iowa immigration raid we first told you about last weekend. Hundreds of people rallied in Postville, Iowa this afternoon to protest the sweep that turned the life of the small town upside down. And that's tonight's Sunday cover. More fallout and new charges in the aftermath of the Postville raid. It was the largest single immigration raid in the country. 700 warrants, 300 arrests. Agroprocessors, a kosher meatpacking plant, lost three quarters of its workforce. And tiny Postville, Iowa? I would say we lost a good third of our people. And that's a pretty substantial hit. Businesses that had served the Hispanic community struggled or shuttered. The meatpacking plant scrambled to replace 700 workers, at one point busing in the homeless from Texas. This has not created anything good for the community. It's created division, hurt, harm. Most of those arrested are serving five-month sentences for identity theft. But some 40 women, along with their 90 children, are still living in Postville, awaiting a court date. Unable to work, the families are completely dependent on St. Bridget's Catholic Church for food, rent money, and medical care. They took my husband and left me with my three sons, and I can't work. It makes you feel humiliated, and we didn't do anything bad. All we did was come here to work. Maria Cruz has to wear a tracking bracelet 24 hours a day and cannot leave Iowa until her case comes to trial. Maria also told CBS News that after the raid, her last paycheck was missing 20 hours of overtime and she was not paid for two weeks of vacation time she had earned. Money she desperately needs now. Two agriprocessor managers are facing indictment for assisting plant workers in getting fake identity cards. The Labor Department is investigating the plant for child labor violations. The Equal Employment Opportunity Commission is looking into sexual harassment charges. And lawyers for the immigrants are working on a lawsuit over wage and hour violations. The line behind us was dangerous. It was all sharp knives. It was the dirtiest, unsafest plant I've ever been in. Many of Father Paul Odekirk's parishioners worked at agriprocessors. He has toured the plant and says workers there were routinely mistreated. We're dealing with them. We've seen them. The kid without the three fingers and the one with his hand missing. Uh, And I, when I was a pastor here, I took how many people to the doctor because of cuts? Agroprocessors would not discuss any pending litigation, but says it has begun to make changes in the plant. We have uh, hired a compliance officer that was reported to to everybody, and uh, I'm not going to get into the details, but uh, I think it was reported that there was many uh, uh, new uh, and improved uh, systems. Still, that's not enough for Father Paul. So they have a responsibility to this whole community that they never really lived up to. They painted a good picture with words, but their actions spoke a different story. A delegation from the Congressional Hispanic Caucus went to Postville yesterday and heard some three hours of testimony from former workers and family members.